Welcome to the College of Midwives of Ontario's video about consent. Midwives have a professional and legal obligation to obtain informed consent prior to providing treatment to clients. A midwife's legal obligation for obtaining consent is set out in the Healthcare Consent Act and is reinforced in the Professional Standards for Midwives. Failure to obtain consent in situations where consent is required by law is considered professional misconduct under the College's Professional Misconduct Regulation under the Midwifery Act. So, what is consent? Consent means consent to treatment as defined in the Healthcare Consent Act. The consent must relate to the treatment, be informed, be given voluntarily, and must not be obtained through misrepresentation or fraud. How can consent be given? Consent may be express or implied. Express consent is the unequivocal expression of consent that is direct and clear. It can be given orally or in writing. An example of express consent would be when a midwife recommends that a client have blood work to test for hepatitis B and syphilis, and the client verbally consents to the test. Implied consent is inferred from the words or behavior of a client or surrounding circumstances such that a reasonable person would believe consent has been given. For example, if a midwife recommends that a client get an episiotomy based on a low fetal heart rate during labor, and the client is in a lot of pain and simply nods their head, leans back to position themselves for treatment, but does not say yes, it would be reasonable for the midwife to infer from the client's behavior that consent has been provided. The college strongly advises midwives to obtain express consent when possible, especially in those circumstances where the treatment provided is likely to be painful and carry significant risk. What happens if a client has withdrawn consent? Consent that has been given by a client or on behalf of a client may be withdrawn at any time by the client if the client is capable with respect to the treatment at the time of withdrawal or by a client's substitute decision maker if the client is incapable with respect to the treatment at the time of withdrawal. Are there any situations where a midwife can provide treatment without consent? Here are a few examples of where the Healthcare Consent Act allows treatment to be provided without consent if the midwife is of the opinion that it is an emergency, the delay required to obtain consent or refusal on the client's behalf will prolong the suffering that the client is apparently experiencing or will put the client at risk of serious bodily harm. The communication required in order for the client to give or refuse consent to the treatment cannot take place because of a language barrier or the client has a disability that prevents the communication from taking place. Reasonable steps have been taken to find a practical means of communicating with the client, but no such means have been found. The delay required to find a means to communicate will prolong the suffering of the client or put the client at risk of sustaining serious bodily harm. There is no reason to believe that the client does not want the treatment. To learn more about consent, please read the Guide to the Healthcare Consent Act available on the college's website. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about consent, please email qap at cmo.on.ca.